walking to Morgan Street Food Hall and then I love that I can count on you to record when I just jump. <laughs> okay, we made it to the gym. Don't worry, as long as you don't yes, as long don't. as you don't honestly like this waistband scratches me in and has Good morning, you guys, and happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I know I did. My mom is off to the West Coast with her sisters. They're actually traveling like all throughout the country while they're on the way there. So I know they're having the time of their life. I also think I'm just exhausted because of the weather. It's so gloomy outside. It's actually pretty dark <sighs> and it's raining today and tomorrow. So I think I just feel weird because the weather's weird, but maybe that's just a mental thing that we've been telling ourselves and maybe I just feel weird because I feel weird. Who knows? Anyways, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna make breakfast, probably write down some goals. All right, let's get up. Let's get the day started. We're gonna have a great week. All right, you guys, this is me practicing discipline over motivation because it sure is raining out here. It is gloomy, it is darker than normal. I'm just telling y'all, I was in the mood to just lay in bed, lounge around. It's the perfect day to do so, honestly. But I had to get up, I need to get this workout in, and then maybe I'll go home and lounge around, hang out with Lana. She's in a lounging mood for sure because she definitely was laying there in bed. I don't think she got out of bed till about like 12. Like she she just wanted to be in bed, honestly. If y'all have gotten your workout in already, kudos to you. The people that can work out at like 6 a.m., hats off to you. I, I really, 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 really wish that I could. And I know it's like you can, girl, you can, but at the same time, the way my nighttime routine is set up is just not happening. I don't know if any of my moms out here, if any of my subscribers are moms, but if you are, like, I don't know if you feel me on this level, but I stay up hours after the girls go to sleep because I feel like it's the only quiet time, the only downtime that I have. So I enjoy those hours, but then I wake up the next day later than normal. And that is why I will not be going to the gym at 6 a.m. because I like my downtime at night. But we're on the way to the gym. I'm gonna hit a leg day. We're back to Monday, so squats it is for the day. That's what's starting out my workout. Other than that, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, I just got to the gym. I am wearing my black Gymshark Pippa training pullover. It's a quarter zip. And then I am wearing the Vital Seamless 2.0 in tote tomorrow. Let's get this lift. That was a rough, like a rough workout. Oh my God. Because today was one of those going through the motions, real slow, weather is gloomy and muggy. It was still a pretty good lift. I just felt like I was moving entirely too slow uh, for what I would have liked to move. I guess, if that makes sense. Um, 
there was something else I had to tell y'all. Oh my God. So I am in a group chat with Aaron and Angelina and tell me why we're talking about the OGX lawsuit. I don't know if you guys know, but OGX by Johnson and Johnson, which by the way, I didn't even know was by Johnson and Johnson. Um, they have that lawsuit against them because apparently they have ingredients in their shampoos and conditioners that cause hair loss. And for the longest time, because I kid you not, my sister used to use OGX and the last time, well, not the last time, but a few times ago when I went to visit her, she had it in her shower and I was like, dang, this smells good. Like my hair feels good, whatever. And I started using it. But at that time when I started using it, like I, my bald spots were not that bad. And it's these spots. I know it doesn't look bald right now, but that's cause I don't like, I'm just trying to not touch these spots, but like you can kind of see like the hair is thinner in like my two corners. So anyways, oh, you can see it. Look. So anyways, literally like, I was just like, okay, hair loss, whatever. My entire household uses OGX <clears throat> and it's so bad. And I hate Johnson and Johnson cause everything goes wrong with them. Like the freaking baby powder, Angelina said sunscreen, which I don't know what happened to sunscreen, but what in the world? And then the shampoo and conditioner, just whatever. There's just so much wrong with them. I don't even know why we still trust Johnson and Johnson half the time. Johnson and Johnson half the time. But yeah, so then Erin sent me a picture of her hair and I'm like, dude, I'm losing hair in that same exact spot and so is Lana. Granted, my family, all of them have it in this spot where it gets thinner, but like, honestly, they don't use OGX. So that just rolls that out. I, maybe I'm just balding in these areas or thinning in these areas because I don't know, is that genetic? I think so. So maybe that's the case, but y'all, these people got our hair falling out. If you use OGX and you did not know this, this is your PSA, this is your sign. Better stop before you go bald. Bald, bald. I don't know, that was just a little much for me. When she sent me that picture, I was just like, oh my God. Y'all, this lash, I am about to call my lash tag. <laughs> what the freak is this? I hope I was not talking to like the people in the gym with my eyelash like this or I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna go get it fixed on Thursday. I don't have much going on for the day. I'll probably hang out with Lana, study a little bit and chill for the rest of the day because it's just, that's just the mood for today. What is up you guys and happy Wednesday. It's now Wednesday. We didn't vlog yesterday. I'm about to detangle Lana's hair. Whoa, I have to detangle all of this because she took a shower last night and I did not detangle it yesterday. What? Yeah. What? Go? Go? <laughs> Your hair looks crazy. All right, let's go. Ay -ay -ay -ay. Say morning. 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 All right, so we're gonna detangle her hair, eat some breakfast, and then I got a couple things planned for the day. So let's get started. So I just finished her hair. She got some baby shark vibes going on. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. is up you guys i finished eating breakfast and i had to do a bunch of content related tasks 
before I got to the gym, but I just pulled up to the gym and I'm about to hit a hammies and glutes session. We're gonna be doing four stable movements today and not doing a whole lot because I gotta go home and get ready for this game. Going to a baseball game later, so hopefully I get some of that recorded. I'll see you guys in here. green beans and rice um, before we head out and then I'm about to get ready. I look so crusty but I'm about to get ready. Um, we're about to head out for a baseball game. So yeah. What's up you guys? I'm finally ready and I'm headed to a secret place. I almost <gasps> said it. I haven't told Chas where we're going. It's a surprise, so I can't really say right now. I did mention it earlier in my video, but I can't say it to her right now. So take a wild guess, Chas. You get two guesses. And tell what it is. No. But <laughs> what's your first guess? A park. Okay, a park. Good guess. What's another guess? A roller skating place outdoors? Yeah. That would be nice. All right, well, those are her two guesses. I guess we'll find out in about 30 minutes. <laughs> Come on, Chas. You guys, we have arrived and Chas still has no idea. Wow, what a what a hair like. We weren't that excited until we heard Eliana was here. She's our best friend. <laughs> really good time yesterday at the baseball game. I don't know anything about baseball. I know what a home run looks like. I know what safe means. I know, I know like the basics, but I've never actually been to an actual baseball game other than my nephew. So I don't know much about it, but it was a fun time. Good people, good vibes, you know? I have honestly been waiting all day for my packages to get here because I have like three or four packages that are coming in and they like two, I think two of them have said like out for delivery and they just have not came. So I'm expecting packages from like Able and Women's Best and Gymshark because I placed another order. From Gymshark, I ordered the black bandeau bra that I'm wearing now and the black training sweatshorts. I just feel like they're so freaking essential. Like if you don't have like loose training shorts, you're missing out. You really are. They're seriously so cozy, so comfy. So I bought the black ones and I really want the brown ones. So if they come back out, like if they restock the brown ones, I'm buying them. But yeah, y'all, today we're supposed to go to the sunflower field and I don't even know, I th it looks super cloudy. I don't know if that means it's gonna rain. I hope not because the sun isn't beaming because it's so cloudy outside. So it'd be like the perfect day to go. All right, it's not supposed to rain. 
it's high 80s here and the clouds are out. I really wanted to take the girls to the sunflower field because I want pictures of them. I've taken pictures with Lana at the sunflower field, not professional pictures, but like just on my phone, um, with Lana at the sunflower field and it was so cute, but the flowers were pretty much like dying. They might've, I mean, some of them were already dead. So I had to find one that was still alive and like pose next to it, but I really want some with like the sunflowers in full bloom. It would be so cute. And I want one of like Lana and Chas together just so we can hang it up. This week I feel like has gone by really fast. I haven't really had too much going on, especially after my mom left. I do need to go to her house. She left me a bunch of stuff. Y'all, she bought me a vacuum before she left and then left me her Kirby vacuum. If you know, you know. Kirby vacuums are literally the goat of all vacuums. She's had that vacuum since I was born, 1994, y'all. And that thing still works so good. Works like it's new. We're taking pre today. It feels like a really good day to do it. I have cycled off of pre. That sounds so bad, but I cycled off to give myself a break because I just felt like it wasn't doing anything for me, but just making me feel like I couldn't do anything or I just like felt bad if I didn't take it. And I don't like that. So, I'm taking one up stem free pre right now in the sour peach rings. This AC is blowing. I'm already a little hyper, so. Hmm. I'm not taking a full scoop here. But if you've taken one up, then you know. Half a scoop is fine. One scoop, one full scoop makes you feel like you're on crack. And while I did enjoy that in my earlier years of fitness, I no longer want to feel like I'm on crack. So half a scoop it is. My gaslight just came on. It's 240. I have to leave the gym app. What is that? What the freak? Um, I have to leave the gym at 3.30 so that Marcus can leave on time to pick up Chas from school. That song's about to have me hype in the gym. Hold up. Okay, we made it to the gym. I don't even know. I swear I don't think this mic is working. Okay, it is. I'm wearing the Gymshark uh, training bandeau and then I'm wearing the Adapt Animal in... I don't remember what color, but it's like the mauve color, so.
you guys we attempted to take pictures at the sunflower field and Lana was not having it whatsoever and then she wanted to get on the swings but really there was only like five swings and way too many children so now we're going to pull in park and I 10 out of 10 do not recommend that you walk around in platform sandals and a tight dress because no so we're pulling up at pulling park Good morning and happy Friday. Um, I'm actually about to head to the mailbox because a couple packages were delivered. I think one for me and then one for Marcus. But after that, I'm gonna eat and then probably head to the gym for a full body session. Just FYI, I'm wearing the KK Fit black carbs and compounds tee in a size small and then some Fashion Nova biker shorts and then just some Adidas. I hope this thing is fully connected, but I am walking to my mailbox. I honestly don't know how they fit these packages in here. Got my package from Abel. I ordered two sets. So one is from the newest launch, which uh, was the animal print launch. The other one was from an older launch, but I really wanted to try it because the color was really cute and it'll be really cute for the fall. So I will show you guys as soon as I get in the house. I am so nervous for this, y'all. I'm always nervous when I size down. Okay, I got the leggings in. These, these are the Animal Seamless leggings in black and I got them in a size extra small. I am scared for my life, but there's the logo. They're like gray marl and black. And then of course I got a matching top, which I got the, got in the sports bra. Same print, Animal Seamless. The logo is on the back and then it has like a little cross back detailing for the straps. Very minimal and simple in the front, aside from the print. And I got this in a size small. So for those Animal Seamless leggings, I actually got an extra small because in the camo, the blue camo leggings that I got from them, it fit, but it was just a lot of extra fabric. And I just felt like in certain areas it looked baggy, like kind of like behind my knees and like right at my hips, I just felt like it kind of looked a little baggy. So I decided to size down because when I asked them what it's most similar to, as far as like another collection or another range, they said the camo and I immediately was like, okay, I'm getting an extra small. The next set that I got, is the Reflex Seamless Long Sleeve, and this is in the color Plum. I got this in a size small. How cute is this color? For fall, for sure. It has like a bunch of rib detailing, like right here. I don't know if you can see. Rib detailing here, around the wrist, and then on the back. It's up here by the neck, and it's also down the sides as well. This material feels a little thicker, but nothing out of the ordinary. And the logo is here on the back. I love that these brands keep their logos minimal, because sometimes when it's like all big printed down the side, it gives me like Hollister vibes. And then I got the matching shorts to go with it. So I got the Reflex Seamless shorts in plum and I got these in a size small. I feel like these would fit normal and not like camo. They look normal. So has rib detailing all down the side, all down the back. There's like a little booty contour, just a slight one. The waistband seems very compressive. And then the logo is on the back of the waistband and it's also on the front here right below the waistband. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these on for you. Okay, so honest review. Um, this is such a cute set and honestly like this waistband snatches me in and has super good tummy control. 
but y'all, I should not have sized down to an extra small. Every time I size down to an extra small, it like just doesn't work out, but this literally, I know it looks fine, but like I can't pull the back up anymore, so there's like a bunch of bagginess going on down here. And then, um, let me see if I can show you guys. It's just too tight. Like I'm trying to pull up the legs more, but it like does not stretch anymore. So I would say if you're gonna order this, stick to your true size. If you're in between sizes, I would say go up because these, and it wouldn't even be comfortable for me to move because they don't stretch anymore. I think this is the max capacity <laughs> that they stretch. But overall, like this is such a cute set and I'm so mad at myself for sizing down. This set, uh, I love this set. This color is so pretty. It's just super flattering. It's compressive, but not restrictive. These are similar to the camo in my opinion. Like this stretches out a lot. She's cute. I like this length. I did pull her up a little bit. So you can roll it down if you want to. Keep it the biker length if you wanted to. I'm not really a fan. I don't think it's like the most flattering look on me. So I'm wearing the Move Seamless in black marl for the top, and then I'm wearing the Power Seamless shorts in red. And then of course with some chucks, full fit check. We're gonna get it done. So I'm gonna head to the gym. I probably will not record my workout for you guys today because I'm pressed on time per usual, but today it's like bad pressed on time for real. I literally just saw that my Gymshark package is out for delivery today which I only ordered two things. I ordered the black training bandeau and I ordered the black training sweat shorts. I hope they're there. They are, I hope they are, they are there when I get home so I can show you guys because I literally am obsessed with those shorts. And if they could come out with more colors, that would be lovely, Gymshark. If you hear this, if you see this, you know, more colors would be lovely and I'm sure other gals would appreciate it. Oh my God, are they crazy? It's a whole ambulance going and these cars are just turning right in front of it like they don't see it or hear it. Okay. I need to create a playlist because it's like one of those times where I'm tired of my current playlist. So I need to make a new one. Cause right now I honestly listen to like one song on repeat every time I go to the gym. <laughs> Which it doesn't bother me, honestly. A lot of people are like, how the heck do you do that? But if it's a song that like puts me in the zone, then I'm just like, all right, we can do this. Oh, seats, baby. Um, I was actually invited out by my sister from another mister, Nay Noel. If you have not already followed her on Instagram, go ahead and do that. We were invited out to try a restaurant in downtown Raleigh. It's in Morgan Street Food Hall. It is called Oak City Fish and Chips. If you have not heard of it, you should definitely go ahead and check it out. But I'm going to vlog my experience there. It is my first time. I'll give you guys a review. I've heard so many good things about Oak City Fish and Chips, specifically from Chas because she goes all the time and for some reason she's been, but I haven't. So I will see you guys downtown. You guys, I have met up with Nay Noel, the Nay Noel of Raleigh. Do you have any words for the camera? No, I don't. <laughs> We're with Sam and young Eli the Great. <laughs> Um, we just parked a couple blocks down, so we're gonna be walking to Morgan Street Food Hall, and then I will show you guys around.
good. All right, you guys, we just finished up at Oak City Fish and Chips. It was way too much food, so we had to bag it up and take it with us because we literally got like fried scallops, fish, lobster, hush puppies, and shrimp on top of some fries. So it was just a lot, and I'm gonna take some home to Marcus. How did you guys feel about the food? Elijah? Shout out to Roger and Bree at the Raleigh Food Trap. Thank you guys so much for having me and May Noel. It was a great time. The food was amazing and Oak City Fish and Chips, super good. 10 out of 10 recommend. Hello and happy Saturday. Um, I actually had a really good time at dinner last night, but I actually wanted to show you guys the Gymshark package that I got in yesterday. Only one of my items came and it was the training sweatshorts in black. It looks just like the other ones, so nothing to really explain there, just that you guys really need it. I did wanna show you guys these because they're so freaking cute. Don't know that you can actually see details in this thing, but yeah. <sighs> like I said in my previous video, they're just staple shorts to have because they're cozy and they go with everything. Also, I did want to mention that if you guys liked my days of the week graphics that are in this video, as well as my call to action subscribe graphic, it was made by Is This Thing On Studios and it's the cutest freaking thing. They are pretty much a post-production company that works on graphics and stuff for like your YouTube or your Instagram. They do all things from like borders to days of the week graphics, call to action graphics, and like plenty of other things. And if you guys are interested in them at all, I will go ahead and link them down below in the description box. You guys should check them out. They have the cutest designs. But yeah, that about wraps up the video. And if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next vlog.